Homesteading, and today I just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys one of the newest additions to the cheap homestead. Uh, you know what? For a few years, I wanted a uh, PTO driven chipper, one that would be capable of chipping a lot of the brushes in the pasture, and they were way too expensive. It was absolutely crazy. I could not justify it. A few years ago, I remember seeing a guy that had this uh, harvester that he was trying to sell that was turned into a chipper and he couldn't sell it and was sitting there and uh, I kind of forgot about it. I meant to go in and ask him about it. Then one day I was driving and uh, I drove by it and I saw a sign on it and I went. So I slammed on the brakes, backed up and it said free. Uh, free is a really good price for the cheap homesteading. Um, so I decided to uh, go in there and I said, do you mind if I take the sign off? I'll come get it. I'm going to just get a hitch and come back. She said her husband would be more than happy. So I went back. I towed it home and I'm absolutely thrilled about it. Uh, the thing is, I would not recommend anyone building their own wood chipper uh, because there's so many things like safety stuff uh, that you really need to have on. And I wouldn't want to recommend someone doing that. But when I get a free wood chipper that's already made the way they did it, I feel that it's a reasonably safe thing to use. Uh, so I'm going to show you what it is. So this is a Heston 7020 harvester. And some ingenious kind of person decided to turn this into a, uh, a chipper. Uh, the tires are pretty decent on it for what I'm going to use it for. So what they did was they cut the uh, drive off for the blower they left it all the same uh, the same drive they made a little exit chute the only thing I could see is you really wouldn't want to be standing behind this thing and everything's the same you got your feed rollers it looks like they had a little bit of an issue with the feed rollers somehow at least the guard anyways otherwise this is pretty stock for sure the one thing that made me feel like it was actually a decently safe was they built a pretty big feed chute into it. So I feel like, uh, you know what, if you respect the thing a little bit when you're using it, you can be safe. There is the feed rollers and your shifter to shift it out of gear and into gear. My goodness, this thing is a brute. As I was saying, I don't know if I would recommend someone making one of these things. But the fact I got it free, um, and it seems like it's built in a way that's reasonably safe. Um, wood chippers are not safe. So no matter how anyone says it, wood chippers aren't safe. Uh, things can happen. So you got to respect whatever you're using. And I'm going to respect this. Uh, the one thing I am going to do that's going to make it a whole lot safer is I have to make a little bit better of a shut off, something that's easier for me to um, shut off the chipper if I have to. What they have already, and it's okay, but it does get caught in here, so I feel like I want to make that a more positive. Um, when you pull it, it's coming off, I, and I think that would actually work really, really good. You know what? I have to check the gearbox levels and everything, but man, uh, I think this is really going... To help me clear the pasture i probably never would have built one from scratch but my gracious i have one and i'm going to use it uh, because i think it's just going to speed up uh, the clearing of the pasture for sure uh, and and most of the stuff i have to chip is cedar so i really think that it could work good so i just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys uh, what i got and uh, that's about enough for today you guys have a good one